Do I have a hair that's a stray? Can I, should I pull it? No! I need every hair I can keep! Absolutely not! <sighs> One sec. Oh, you're really bright. Thank you. It's just because I'm so white compared to you. Like your face is way more tan than mine. That's why. I don't have any makeup on, so my face is its actual real color. Must be nice. Which is Casper. My face is Casper color. Because I wear like a 45 SPF literally 24 hours a day. If there were sunscreen pills, I would take them. Hello everyone and welcome back to What's in Store. What's in Store? By popular demand, Jocelyn has returned. You know what? Those first two episodes, well, the first two episodes I appeared on, I felt were quite entertaining. <laughs> Really also, like you can tell progressively, like as we eat more sugar, how it just starts, I'm like screaming. The show got wilder as time went on, in case you couldn't tell because of the stuff you were feeding me, which you know I don't eat sugar. People were commenting, if I were to guess who was high, it wouldn't have been Lily. You were soft baked. I must have said that like 80 times. I was. But I love this show. My mom loves this show. Big fans. We actually have uh, quite a few options today. Mm. Uh, shall we get started? Oh, actually I brought something. Do you want to reveal the theme of this? Today's episode is s'mores theme. Right, so you told me this before I came over and you know, my mom has raised me, you never show up empty handed. So I brought a lot wide array of items with me, including I have a pocket s'more. I received this in a gift bag recently at a Netflix, Netflix, a Netflix event and it's a pocket this, is s'more. Is that a Netflix marshmallow? You know, Netflix is really coming for like Hallmark's brand. They have a lot of good holiday movies. In fact, have you watched this movie yet? This is not sponsored, by the way. I just I really love this movie. Uh, is that the one with Nina Dobrev? Nina Dobrev. Yeah, love of her. course I saw it. I actually need to renew my Netflix account. Why don't you just sign into my dad's account? That's what the rest of us do. You want his password? My Netflix account got hacked. By whom? Someone in India. Well, I hope this makes you feel better. This pocket s'more kit. Merry Christmas. Shall we begin? Yeah, we shall. Let's start with something sweet. Honestly, the thing that intrigued me most about these is that there's a filling. This looks absolutely incredible. Although I will say, I wish that the filling was marshmallow. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I was thinking the exact opposite because you know how I feel? I really offended the Oreos community on the You last offended episode. me. Do people actually like the icing in Oreos? I feel like it's like really like, uh, it's bad real estate. Oh my gosh, you can have you all kidding? my icing. I don't like it. Really? I don't like white icing. I feel like it's slimy and it like, honestly reminds me of mayonnaise or something. And it's something. funny because in the same aisle they had all the Oreos. They have a lot of options these days, a lot of different flavors. We did a cheat day on that one Do time, we need that many flavors? No, and they don't taste that good and they're all kind of, it's strange. But I thought of you because they had a mega stuff, which is past double stuff, which like is my dream. Okay, that's intriguing to me. More intriguing is what this is, which has chocolate in the middle. But don't you not like chocolate? Is that you? So it's this is very it's, weird it's, it's and controversial. Well, it's complicated because I don't not like chocolate the flavor. Okay. Like if it's melted or like a okay. chocolate milkshake or a chocolate cake. Okay. If you, it's flavored chocolate. I honestly think you like actually like soft foods in general. Kind of like a baby. You know what I mean? Like think about all the foods that are your favorite, like a soft in and out burger. That's not crunchy, that's soft. You like soft foods. <gasps> Yeah. Even when they're congealed, you like it soft. I think it's it's just like it's when it's it's like it's too much. Like walking into a C's candy always makes me want to throw oh up. Oh my gosh, overwhelming. That's so overwhelming. Plus, you don't even know what you're getting until you already bit into it. I don't like the false advertising. Pop these open. Lift open that top. They smell really good. Ooh, Chips Ahoy too. This I, is my childhood. Is it yours? Not really, because oh. I for example, like chocolate chip cookies. Yes. Love when they're fresh baked. Right. A couple days old. Yeah, I don't know. So much. I, I don't, I only like them soft as well. So these look soft, especially for a chip they're, Ahoy. They're chewy. Oh, they are. Okay, great. And they have marshmallow and chocolate chips. Yeah. See, this doesn't look big enough to be filled. You know I feel what? like this is false advertising. It may be, but you know what would be amazing? Wait, actually, no. I think there's like a little like- Nibble it in the middle? A mound. We, if we put these in the microwave for like 10 seconds. You know, it says that. It says, Heat for a treat. See oh, really? size for details. Okay, well, oh, Lily, I just popped mine open and look at that. Oh my gosh, should I heat mine for here? Oh, wow, these smell fantastic. Here, let's, we'll, we'll try one. One plain, one heated. Exactly. And these little white chips, these do look like white chocolate, but they are yeah. apparently marshmallows. Okay. Just like 10 seconds, I think, oh, it's will be sufficient. Oh, here, let's read. What does it say? 
It says, heat two cookies on a paper napkin, ten, nine to 10 seconds, very short. Nine to 10 seconds, wildly specific. And why the paper towel or why the napkin? Huh? Well, that was fast. Nine seconds. Falling apart. But we should get this one first, yes. right? Okay, so here, here we go. I wanted to. Right? Oh, interesting. Tasty. Cheers. Woof. This tastes great. Almost no. tastes like cinnamon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is this, where is this made? Is this a product of Mexico? It is. Because you know in like Mexican chocolate, cinnamon is frequently added. This tastes like Mexican hot chocolate. That is what this tastes like. It does not taste like a s'more, but I'm actually here for it. Let's see, is there- oh, Wait, I'm so surprised that we actually agree on that. There's cinnamon in this. That's not like something that you normally get in American foods, but oh, I love- It's really not in s'mores. But don't you love it? It's really good. If you gave me that and didn't tell me that's what the flavor was, wouldn't guess. Much. No, this is this should be renamed to Mexican hot chocolate flavor Chips Ahoy. Hold on, I want to try the hot. Here's the version that was in the microwave, right? Yeah. See, Looks I exactly feel like 15 seconds would have been better. <laughs> it's a little bit softer. Here's the thing, guys. There's zero marshmallow flavor in this cookie. This is Mexican hot chocolate. Regardless of whether it's s'mores or Mexican hot chocolate, it needs more marshmallow. But it is delicious, and they also make a red velvet flavor. I have it. In you do? Episode, but it didn't really fit in the s'mores theme, so. Yeah, these are great, but they're not s'mores. No. Well, what else do you and, have for them? And I will say, I like them better heated. Yeah, oh, definitely. Absolutely. Are these also sweet? Yes. By this. It looks like it's a chocolate one, a marshmallow, and a, a gram. Oh, see, I thought they were gonna be like stuffed or something. Cause typically the reason I love a goldfish is because it's a very salty cheese flavor, which is like the combination of all my favorite things. So you know how in the last two episodes you've been very passionate about the uh, characters on the packaging? Okay, I have a question for you. Like I've tried many a Pringle. Who the actual F is this little man on the top of the can? Have you ever even noticed him before? I feel like he's the unsung hero. Who is this? The toast guy with his tongue out. Who is he? What's they his name? Just, they don't have names because it's just mm. the animated cereal. What a missed opportunity. Look at his tongue though. That is the longest tongue. It looks like a fruit by the foot tongue. It's like, ah. Who the little F is this fish? Does These he have a name? have names. Oh, oh, what are their names? Swimmington, Brooke, and Finn. Oh my gosh, yes. The unsung heroes of the goldfish you world. See that. Swimmington, Brooke, and Finn. Who do you want to eat first? I don't think any of them are in here, but. Oh, these di people didn't get names. They're just like a holiday. Oh, Ooh. wow. Look at this. Can you even see it? So we have chocolate. We have marshmallows, which as usual, think should be larger, but the ratio of marshmallows to crackers is good. And then we have a gram. This so is hilarious. It's only right to- Make a little sandy? Yes. Okay, hold on, let me get my- Here we go, the tiniest s'more of all time. We have gram, mallo, chocolate, gram. Cheers. I love this. This is all gram cracker. Like, it's all gram cracker. It gives me Teddy Graham vibes. I oh my wish, gosh, yes. I always wish. There's more marshmallow. This is like a Lucky Charm mixed in is what it is. But it's kind of flavorless. Yeah, the Lucky Charms marshmallows you can really taste. If you're someone who doesn't like overwhelmingly sweet stuff, this is your snack, don't you think? This is great. I do really love, and it is very, very Teddy Graham. Does That's still... not a good marshmallow ratio. Do Teddy Grahams still exist? Yeah. They do? Huh. I'm surprised they haven't gone crazy with the flavors. Well, I mean, I guess you don't need to get crazy when you're already perfect, you know what I mean? Have you tried Goldfish pretzels? I really like pretzels. Mm. You like salty foods? Not really. Depends. Only when they're soft. <laughs> Only when I'm soft baked. <laughs> what is a good soft salty food for you? Like a mashed potato. Oh. Oh my gosh. I should make you some homemade mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. Hey, I'm such a. You're a soft food. Mac and cheese, pudding. Oh gosh. Banana oh cream my God. pudding. What else? Oh gosh, I can't stop with these. I can't believe I forgot. What? Oh gosh, what do, what do you have? Oh, she just said pudding and look what has emerged. I can't 
can't believe I forgot there was pudding. Lily, this is very uh, out of you character. Know what? You. Shit, I forgot there was another one too, but I don't know if we have time. To you do have that. a second pudding? No, it's a toaster strudel. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So on the real, like, how often do you eat pudding just when you're by yourself? Not very often because I feel like pudding isn't like good from this. I don't know. Oh, even, you even have to when make I make your own. Even when I make it, it's so. Where is the best pudding? Just Magnolia Bakery. Oh, yes, but um, these they have like a bunch of different ones now. Yes. Um, I always see, and I haven't tried any of them yet. Because so. you can like get granola and fruit, or you can get like a s'more flavor. They have a bunch of different kinds of candy. So is the idea that this is flavored like? How did you get that off? <laughs> oh, so this is marshmallow flavored dessert. Interesting. So it's like marshmallow pudding. They're not calling it pudding, though. Have you noticed that? It's strange. It's so a, what it's is a it? Dessert. <laughs> Big. Honestly, that's not on purpose, by the way. They can't <laughs> classify this as pudding for some reason. Weird. <laughs> what are the pudding classifications? Well, it needs is to there, be called pudding. Is there a pudding board? Does someone own do the word pudding? To, do they have to pr approve it? Probably. And then with uh, milk chocolate and graham crumbles. Okay. So this dessert bowl is in one side. Oh, this looks nice. It smells great. Make sure you get a bite that incorporates everything. I'm mixing it in. Oh, you're doing mixed? I'm not. I'm doing topped. Oh. Oh, wow. Mm. Is this pudding? I don't think this is pudding. It kind of tastes like the cream in a cake. I can't say I really like it. This is like a bowl of frosting. At basically. first I thought I did like it, but now I do. Mm -hmm. To me, this feels like a dessert that you're like trying to trick yourself into thinking is healthy. You know what I mean? Do you think this is healthy? What about marshmallow chocolate and graham crackers seems healthy? But it's like a yogurt parfait. Well, it's not pudding. What is it? What are you? A dessert. Someone get investigative on also, this. Also, it expires very soon. Oh, dang. This expires in like a few days. How long do you think this has been on the shelf at the grocery store since last Christmas? Very weird. Now it's making me wonder, I don't know. Very, very weird. I feel like I've been lied to my entire life. Okay. Great, great another great, sweet. Great. Quick. Another sweet, Lil. Um, I haven't had these ones, but I've had, um, they have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They have other it's ones. It's feel crazy right now. It's a good thing I had a salad for breakfast. Did you notice what, what a great dialogue we opened up about B for D? You guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the previous episode where we did breakfast foods. Was it pancakes um, themed? Loosely. Yeah. Um, we have a whole conversation about B for D, B for L, D for L, D for B, just the whole thing. L for B, L for D, B for B, you know the drill. What are these? Were you a fan of Golden Grahams growing up? It was a cereal, right? Yes, I, yeah. I believe it still is. I was definitely not allowed to eat it, but I will say the Golden Grahams are amazing to make in lieu of Rice Krispies and Rice Krispie Treat. Oh. A Golden Graham Treat is significantly sweeter. That, I mean, that's and that's kind of s'mores-esque. And there's not marshmallows in Golden Golden grams usually. So it's golden grams, but then s'mores flavored on top of that. What is the golden gram though? It's a piece of gram that is golden. <laughs> okay, right off the bat, I already love what I'm seeing. You have a chocolate base with a gram mix <laughs> with marshmallow and chocolate chip. I'm into it. But again, why are they so stingy with the marshmallow? I was gonna say, why is it so shiny? Has it been sweating inside this baggie? Is it g glistening because it's golden? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Yes. Cheers. This consistency. Oh, I can like get this. it. This is good. And I didn't have the cereal very much growing up, mm -hmm. but this has brought me back. This is very sweet and very chewy, but oh. soft at the same time. So apparently my camera decided to stop recording before we ate the final thing, which was supposed to look like this. And um, it turned out like this. has to be pretty, maybe it tasted good. Which maybe it would have if I hadn't um, preheated the oven to the wrong temperature because I did it for the temperature that you toast the marshmallows, not the temperature that you're supposed to cook the brownie. And then Jocelyn put them in the oven and um, let's just say they're a little dry. I cannot believe that didn't record. I'm not happy about it. Uh, Jocelyn would have stayed, but she had a meeting to go to and was already late. So um, 
yeah. It won't be very visual, but it did still record the audio. So if you guys wanna use your imagination for a sec, I mean, it's pretty ugly anyway, so it's not like we really needed to see it that much. Oh, whoa, this is pretty hard. Um, usually brownies are like kind of soft. This is pretty much a brick. You know what, let's just cut right into the middle. Uh, the middle seems to be more really pliable. Solid. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm just gonna have really fucked this up. Talk about the process. Okay, so what you do it. first is there's like a graham cracker mix that you do as the... <laughs> I'm using all my strength. So there's a graham cracker base. We won't be sampling because it is... <laughs> it's stuck to the pan right here. It's as hard as a rock. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to try any of that. It's, it's fine. So it's a graham cracker base for the crust, which is just graham and butter. <laughs> then you make the brownie mix. You put that on top, super easy to make. Then you put the marshmallows on top at the end, and then you're supposed to drizzle chocolate, but like- The drizz didn't The drizz was well. more chunky. You know, this could look a lot worse. Right? A little dry. It's still delicious. Well, oh, I'm supposed to leave five minutes ago. Okay. Oh gosh. Sorry for this really sad ending to this episode. I hope you enjoyed what we did record and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Also leave a comment below. Let us know what else you want to see us eat on the show. And uh, when I say leave a comment, I'm saying please leave a comment because also, as I mentioned last episode, um, I think YouTube forgot my channel existed for a sec because of my uh, sporadic upload schedule. But your guys' engagement does help. It seems like YouTube is starting to remember. They haven't fully remembered, but they're like, you seem familiar. I guess we'll show you to a few of the people who subscribe to you. Anyway, thank you for being here today.